Malagasy farmer Randriana Solomonan says his community depends on these rice fields on the outskirts of his village. And that's why he fears a controversial project that could transform this landscape. Madagascar's government plans to construct a highway cutting through protected areas. That sparked a heated debate between advocates for development in what is one of the world's poorest countries and environmental conservationists. If this highway project touches the rice fields, the impact on people's livelihood will be colossal. Everything will be destroyed. The project aims to boost connectivity, trade and tourism. But there are also fears about its impact on Madagascar's unique biodiversity and the livelihoods of rural farmers. Environmental groups argue the highway could lead to habitat destruction and increased deforestation. Tiana Andriamanan is executive director of a local NGO that is calling for a more balanced approach. The idea of the highway is excellent, but the idea of passing through a protected area is a little less so. So the aim is to combine conservation and development at the same time. And we think it's possible, but not in the present case. The project's financial feasibility is also under scrutiny. Economist Serge Zafimahov said Madagascar is in the midst of financial austerity at the state level and does not have the means to finance the motorway. The government, however, says it remains committed. Its former Minister of Public Works said success of the project was conditional on authorities and local communities reaching a compromise. But back in the village of Ambo Himiara Manan, Marcel Ramanan Jart emphasizes the importance of protecting the rice paddies. As Madagascans, he says, rice is the source of life. And he warns that if the paddies are sacrificed, people will be forced to migrate elsewhere.